Yeah, it's just for fun though, to show people how it's because yeah. you can do it from your wallet directly. You don't need a broker. You don't need like, uh, you know, to send your KYC a picture of yourself like you're being ransomed. Right. You know, holding like your passport. Like, don't smile. Just hold your passport and like those weird. <laughs> you don't need any of that. Just sign in with your wallet. You know, bring a hundred USDC, and you can you know add a thousand X leverage and you know trade a hundred thousand dollars worth of forex. Uh, with right, ra with right. rather so, thin margins. I, I, I think it should give some context. Though, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. So, I, I think so. What we're talking about is is using uh, a dex. Yeah. Uh, or or maybe just give them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll give you a quick. Because, because when we tell people that we're trading stock forex with. That's true. Dollars, yeah. You know, so, because you, you can't, you can't like hold dollars on a crypto wallet, you know, not strictly speaking the way that you would think you hold dollars in your bank account. So what we're talking about is uh, using your crypto wallets to use, you know, dollar pegged token assets such as US dollar coin, uh, US dollar tether, DAI, like these are stable coins that usually one unit of this coin is worth $1 and is redeemable for $1 you know, by its issuing authority. So a company like Circle, which is the parent company of Coinbase, is the issuing authority behind US dollar coin. And they, you know, they keep a, you know, a supply of US dollars to uh, back each of these US dollar coins that they issue. So in case you want to trade back into dollars, there is a way to do that. Um, anyway, what we're talking about when we trade, you know, stocks or Forex assets uh, from our wallet is we're using these stable coins to then purchase positions in what's known as a perpetual contract, uh, which is similar to a futures contract, if you're familiar with futures trading, uh, but it has no expiration date. So you can open a perpetual contract and keep it open as long as you're maintaining your margin, it will stay solvent, basically, as long as you have the equity to you know put up the counterpart to the liquidity that you're borrowing. And of course, as the price of the asset you have the order in changes that, you know, like, like let's say you went long on, on US dollars against Great British, like GBP against, against the pound, and then the dollar climbs, you know, suddenly your position is, uh, you know, if you're going long, you would lose that position and be liquidated if the price moves down. But if the price climbs, obviously you now have more of a margin, you know, and you could then close this position entirely or partially to uh, realize the profits from that. Similarly, on the way down, you know, you could lose your money, but you'd only ever be exposed to however much money you put into the position initially. So again, in the example where you're bringing $100 to then take a $100,000 position, the total uh, possible loss in a position like that is the $100. There's no way to be on the hook for anything beyond your uh, your collateral capital. It's Which, which, which is amazing. <laughs> It's a little complicated to kind of like yeah, spell so it all out. Basically, <laughs> you know, like there are apps out there for like decentralized exchanges, DEXs. Yes. Where you're basically trading tokenized versions. Yeah. Of, you know, of like you can trade Apple, you can trade whatever, you can trade stocks, you can trade Forex. Exactly. But all of this is done putting up collateral. Yeah, and then all of those with crypto. Yes, and then all of those positions will settle in the collateral. So if you're right. taking a position on Apple shares, you you don't own Apple shares. You own you know a US dollar or maybe an Ethereum or whatever you used as collateral backed position on Apple. If the price of Apple shares go up, your profit is in the collateral asset. So if you put up Ethereum, you would earn Ethereum for that when you close your position. And the counterpart to those positions is a pool of Ethereum. So while you are trading Apple shares and your trade is exposed to the share price of Apple, it is a derivative position that doesn't actually comprise of any Apple shares. Everything yeah, is, shares, yeah. yeah, everything it's is. A, it's sort of like the synthetic token. Exactly. So if you think about it in the terms of future contracts, it's like a future contract that settles only in cash. So, uh, and instead of cash, we're using a crypto asset, you know, usually a cash equivalent crypto asset. 